So I was playing some rush defense on Zvad 311, and I noticed that there were some guys arming the first objective. So I res this guy real quick. Oh yeah, get up, buddy, off the ground. And then I started picking off this guy, and I was gonna go for the disarm, but oh, jeez. Okay, so not too good of a start. Anyway, so then the second life, I decided to. Okay, that's not gonna work either. So we lost the first base, but that didn't discourage me. I killed this guy over here trying to pull the little flankety flank, and then I decided that I was going to turn around and get some guys who were near our front lines. Then I decided to turn around again and, oh, okay, I got GG'd by Dice. Thank you very much for that. After spontaneously exploding, I decided that I was going to spawn into a tank, and I had a little Scarface moment, not going to lie. Say hello to my little friend! As I pulled around the corner, I saw an enemy tank, and I started to shoot at him, and then I popped my green screen to make sure his bullets did no damage to me, and I blew him up. Then just to add insult to injury, I ran over his dead tank corpse. So I backed up, and I decided that I was going to go a little bit closer to where I was before. Picked up a guy who was running across the second floor of the building, and then I saw a guy that was running through his apartment, and unfortunately I couldn't blow it up for some reason. So then he jumped out, and I decided I was going to go kill him, when all of a sudden I see... <laughs> So I went straight to work. Unfortunately, these guys had a really good defense mechanism in place, including shooting an RPG at the side of my tank, so I backed off a little bit. Then I picked off this guy who was running through this building through like two different windows. It was a really awkward angle. Actually, it reminded me of that scene from The Graduate. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> As I kept scanning my heavy machine gun on the tank around, I noticed that there was basically a squad hiding in the Christmas tree farm, so I started to shoot at them through the leaves. Actually, I was pretty productive with it too. I got an easy triple or quad kill, and then I ended up wiping out the whole squad. Then I backed up a little bit because there was a tank on me again, and I popped my green screen and started to blow this thing up like it was Christmas at the Griswolds. Yes, Mark, I really just dropped that reference to your reference. Now I pulled to the opposite side and I started to pick off even more stragglers who were running around. I killed one guy who was just proned in a corner for some reason, and I decided to pull back over to the opposite side again. So now I'm picking off even more stragglers at the Christmas tree farm, and I'm doing pretty good picking off guys and they're hitting the floor, whether it's that they're actually dying or because they're going prone because the shots of their gun are coming out at a 90 degree angle because of my suppression ability. And I killed a couple more and I decided that I was going to back up yet again. Then the sniper, the support guy, jumped onto my tank and he decided to come along for the ride. It was kind of weird. Watch him in the corner. Apparently my tank has some sort of a gravitational pull. So anyway, then I looked around and I saw this guy trying to Rambo revive his buddy, and that was an absolutely unsuccessful endeavor on his part, and that was the end of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and the commentary. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up on this video to show me that you support it. Other than that, drop a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and peace out.